Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. We are coming into summer and uh, we have shade here, we have shade there. And then one day, before I am dead, I want to walk all the way in shade. So there's a Paulovnia here, there's a Paulovnia there. So hopefully one day they will make my dream come true and I can walk from east to west, west to east in the shade. We still have lots of yellow flowers. Beautiful. And then I started watering by hand because I am watering the um, what is it? The uh, Sudan grass, the sorghum. Hey, the mind is going. And I will not do irrigation for that. I have also planted quite a lot of wildflowers. And they are coming up. So the water comes from the green bulging Matilda inflatable water tank. First time I'm using it. Feels good. I have actually put a 32 millimeter hose on it and I some more of these flowers they must get water now or else they are gone I have hoped to have had some rain but we haven't had any the last month so now I just hand water them and see what comes from them the temporary workshop it was just good to have all the irrigation fittings in one place I could even find what I was looking for until the greenhouse is fixed then I can organize myself better here I have a lot of glass bottles to serve my drinking habit this is uh, sparkling water and uh, I'm going to build them into the wall of a cob house one day I will do it still six chicks it's amazing how let's use the word naughty they are in the sense they just want to get out they do whatever they can this is their nature next door the ducklings are much more quiet in a sense they have no need to uh, escape all the time the chickens are still in their tunnel they don't like it that much they cannot flap their wings and all sorts of things but poco a poco one at a time we will solve all of these. The two geese and the one duck, the three problem children, are uh, now locked up here together. They must just sort it out. Another bird has bitten the dust. 
I have also learned that some birds spend a day or two on the ground before they can start flying. Others just fall out, others can't fly. Enjoy it, Sky. Not long, and then it's gone. Water is still flowing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I've cleared more swales on both sides, not only on the inside. It looks much better. Now I can also see what is going on. I mean, here is no cutting that has taken. Ah, oh, there is one. And uh, this one is a lot that has taken. So now we can see. I like it. Things are drying out, the plants, and uh, they're going to seed. We had some hot and dry winds, although the temperatures were not that high, but it will, in this week, go to early 30s Celsius. Yeah, we are ready. Here I am trying to cut through the middle of a fallen holm oak. Extremely difficult because it has dried over many years and uh, that made me think of a site, a channel, two rebels off grid and uh, there channel is the same as mine you have to watch a lot before you get a gold nugget and uh, why I am talking about them is uh, every now and then when I watch their channel there is something artistic that shows so I've been threatening to make a bench out of this for a long time and today is the last day we can use a chainsaw on the land and uh, so I thought I have to cut it today and uh, two rebels of grid they just have some genius creations now and then that they show uh, there is also a lot of talking. I just turned off the sound. I'm not into conspiracy theories, but everybody can believe what they want. So I'm looking for the gold nuggets, which I found find now and then. Shout out for them. Give me the bone. Give it to me. Give it to me. So I've picked up 90% of all their bones and uh, because I realized that ticks are quite intelligent they sit on the bones because they know that an animal, a dog-like animal will come and chew on it and then they can just job, jump on the next meal and I don't like it. Uh, I've also got some drops for the dogs which I put on their backs. Now I've got four ticks instead of 40. Excellent. This is the time where the oaks change their outfits. With every leaf they drop they make a new one and uh, they look evergreen, which they are, but it's not the same leaves. 
So every year new leaves, this is the cork oak. And that is the holm oak. Look at the difference between the colors. And uh, this one producing its pollen. Some part of the tree can even produce pollen and the other part can produce flowers. So, and also not at the same time. Excellent. Very intelligent. Till next time. Goodbye.